Hello everybody, it's Patty here, the Alaskan Cross Stitcher. Today is November the 13th, 2023, and this is episode 245. On today's show, I have an FO, I have a start, and I have a haul. So sit back and relax, grab your beverage of choice. Water for me, your craft of choice, and let's chat. How has everybody been? I have been really good. Uh, I think I am finally over the cold portion and now into the allergy portion. I do have allergies. The uh, house is closed off for the winter, so there's dust in the air. I try to keep up with the dusting, but that's kind of hard sometimes. Um, and of course, even though we moved the laundry room, there's still going to be some laundry um, dust from the dryer. So I, I still have a scratchy throat, which I always have all winter long. Actually, I have it pretty much year round. So it is getting a little bit better, but it's not as bad as it was. And in fact, my voice sounds a lot better because I've been drinking a lot of cold water today. So it is getting much better. Um, I didn't see my mom last week. I am going to go see her Wednesday and bringing her sushi since that's what she asked for. I didn't go knitting again. Um, I just wanted to make sure that everything had stay, you know, had stabilized and wanted to make sure I was okay. And Sunday we did have the littles. The littlest, the little man, excuse me, wasn't feeling really great. He had a sore throat and a uh, earache. So his mom is going to take him to the doctor today. So hopefully it's not something that's catchy because I really don't want to have to go through another week of uh, being sick and stuck at home because I like to go out once in a while and have fun. <clears throat> so yeah. Shall we get on with the stitching? I think so. So I'm going to go ahead and show you my finished object. And if you've been with me for a while, you probably already know what it is. And if you guessed Nevermore by Leela Studio, you would be correct. I stitched this on 32 count Valspar by Picture This Plus. This is the um, color fabric. The count she wanted you to do it on was 40 count, but I did it on a 32. I did it with all the called for color except for... <coughs> Chesapeake, which is the green, and Chesapeake was eight weeks dye works color. So this just, <coughs> sorry, this just flew off of the frame. I was so happy with how much I got done this week and getting it finished was exciting because I wanted a new start and I knew how close I was. So I went ahead and started the new start. Um, let's see if I can find it. Where is my new start? Right here. So, no, oh, that's not it. Hmm. Uh, uh, is this my new start? Yeah, this is my new start, actually. Since last month I didn't start it, I decided to start it this month. And this is... Cinnamon Stars by Plum Street Samplers. Yep, samplers. I'm using the called for colors. And the fabric I am using is 36 count um, Daffodil by x Designs. And this is where I got to. So I had decided that I was going to do a left start like I always do. So I measured and measured and measured and made sure it all is going to work out. I wanted to get down to the house, so I did all of the motifs to get down to the house. So this is right here. So I'm on that roof line. Because I figured I would do some house, do some motifs, do some house, do some motifs. And that way I wouldn't get <coughs> so burnt out. Well, that's where I'm at. So that's so exciting to have a start. 
And even though I wasn't I was trying to really pull in on the starts, but then I decided, but then I decided you only live once. You might as well do whatever you want to do and start whatever you want to start as long as you don't feel itchy. I cannot do another lady. I have to wait until I get the 12 that are here. I don't remember how many are in the closet, but over the armoire, there is tons of them in the armoire. I cannot start a lady until I get a whole bunch of these other ladies done. <clears throat> yeah. Because I have a lot of ladies. And I still have ladies that I need to start. Ah, my Mirabilia addiction was real, let me tell you. So, I went ahead and decided to work on my rotation. And you will see that this was the only piece of my rotation that I talked about last week that actually got worked on. I worked on Santa of the Forest by Lavender and Lace. I am stitching this on 32 count natural by MCG Textile. And I worked on the bottom here. So I'm getting some of the greenery done. This is the bottom of the pattern. Yes, that's the bottom of the pattern, except for part of his jacket comes down. So there'll be a little bit down here, but I am pretty much at the bottom of the pattern. So, yeah, there is a lot to do. And maybe the next time I work on this, I'll take it out of the frame so I can show you guys what he looks like. Since I haven't shown him in a while. But that's where he's at. <coughs> And then this is where I went off. I didn't want to stitch on Boo, Gecko Boo. I couldn't get into working on Gecko Boo. So I went ahead and looked through the armoire that has all of the um, projects that I'm working on and the ones that I set aside that I wasn't going to work on this year. So I pulled out one that I had decided quite a while ago that I was going to... UFO and in fact in my books it's uh, it says UFO on my book that this is a UFO project I'm never gonna work on it again yeah I lied to myself this is long dog samplers death by cross stitch I am stitching this on 32 count bisque by lakeside linens and <clears throat> I actually got quite a bit done for me on this project for a UFO project. I did that with all the back stitching and started the, I guess that's a lion. So yeah, and it was so much fun. This is two over two. So using the loop start to do this, figuring out where I'm going to put my secondary color since my third color I used a lot right here. In fact, that's the third color. So it's 820 is the main color. There we go. 820 is the main color. I'm going to put my eyeballs back on so I can see here. Well, I would say actually my secondary color is 4245. And then the second the third color is 4230. And all of the hearts that I feel like doing pink is 8.93. So, yeah, so here is my color palette. And I really did enjoy working on it, but then I just really got burnt out, I think. And then I decided I didn't want to work on it. And I had it all the 8.20 pulled out of here. I had left the other three colors in here just in case. Sorry, so I could find it again, and I'm glad I did because for some reason I decided I wanted to work on it. So I scratched it off of my UFO list, so I have to add it back onto my works in progress list, which is getting longer by the day. Even though I have finished eight and I've added six, I think. <laughs> Crazy. So then. Another one I pulled out that wasn't technically on the UFO list, but I was 
really not liking it because of one of the colors I picked because I chose the colors for this one um, is Get Kraken by Ink Circles. And this one I'm stitching on 36 count, 36 count aqua linen by Fabric Flare. And I got a lot done. A lot. I am just jazzed. So, the last time I showed it, I had this section done, a little bit of... I think I had all of that or no a little bit of this done and then a little bit of that so everything else is new this is new this is new all of that is new and this is all new <clears throat> so sorry I have a frog in my throat the reason I wasn't working on it was because of this color this color here is a silks for you in one of the um club colorways and it's also supposed to be the color of the kraken and to me a kraken is not pink and that turned out to be such a pink color that I didn't like it um and that's why I put it away and didn't pull anything out excuse me so when I pulled this out to work on it again I came into the room and I pulled out this color for the kraken and it's like a burgundy. And I think I think this one will be a much better cracking color than uh, that pink. So I will work a couple of stitches in this when I get to the Kraken. And if I don't like it, then I will just pull it out and keep searching for a cool color. But yeah, I'm really happy with, with that. And here's the color palette. So, I'm really happy. Yay! So, Get Kraken is back on the list of things to work on. And these might be coming out more this month of November because they're really, I don't really have any thanksgiving thanksgiving or fall related that's not halloween i'm trying to stay away from halloween because that's all i have is halloween so i'm trying to stay away from all of that i also worked on <coughs> red christmas by jordan Privé. I am stitching this on 36 count X Jew designs in the dirty clothes. I had pulled a different red. It was um, new coral. And the new coral was really pink. This is actually a red from uh, silks for you zero it's pr zero two three i did order some more so it and it's on its way so in case i run out because this is all of the motifs the words are going to be in that green and there's a christmas tree that i'm also going to make green so i wanted to make sure i had enough of that red so i went ahead and ordered another just one skein this should be plenty. So I was really happy with what I did. I wanted to test the colors to make sure they looked really good. And I think they do. Um, I did want a different red. I didn't want a red that matched. I had darker reds that would have gone with it. But then you can't tell the difference. And I wanted to be able to tell the difference. But I didn't want it pink. So I'm really happy and I'm really happy with this screen. I think this being giving you the mood of being old timey and this feeling like it's a older green and this pop of red, I think will be really cool. So I'm very happy and I really like these dirty clothes. I think that's really pretty. So <clears throat> this is definitely one that will be be worked on so I'm gonna put that right here and the Kraken right there 
uh, oh, Santa of the Forest needs to go back over here as well. Okay, and then I worked on this one. I figured this one had enough fall colors and wasn't a jack-o'-lantern, but was a pumpkin. So this is Paisley Pumpkin by Rosewood Manor. And I'm stitching this one on 32 Count I Try by Fortnite Fabric. And I did quite a bit on here. You really can't see it because it's more of filling in the flowers and trying to work in the flowers a little bit more. So I'm still plugging along on the flowers. There is tons of color changes. So when I work on this, I think I worked on this for a couple of hours. And it doesn't feel like you're getting a lot done because you're constantly changing colors. But um, I like it still. So it's definitely not going on the UFO. Because something was UFO'd. Um, I don't even have the... I don't even have it anymore. I ripped it completely apart. I cut the fabric. Because I wasn't even going to pull it apart. And that one is Night Walks Down uh, by... Not walk down by. Um, I can't remember. I'm sorry. If I remember, I will tell you guys next week. But I went ahead and completely ripped Night Walked Down because I just wasn't enjoying the colors. And that was another one I picked all the colors out for, and I just wasn't enjoying it. So I just said, you know what? Life's too short. It's time to get rid of it. <laughs> so I did. Okay, and then the last thing, I or not the last thing, but another thing I worked on is Autumn Dreams. I figured this one is a November stitch. It's got a pumpkin. It's got fall colors. It says autumn. Perfect. It's a fall stitch. So I have been burnt out on this one, I figured, because I have been working over here for so long and feeling like I'm not getting anything accomplished. There's so many color changes and there's so much over there that I just don't feel like I get anything accomplished. So I took it out of the Q-snap and decided I would try a different area. And <clears throat> the word dream magically appeared. I am so happy changing that up. It was a joy to stitch. I think I like words. I didn't think I did. I thought I don't didn't think I liked alphabet, but I like words. It's fun. So yeah, I got dream in. I got this leaf here in or started. So the next time I come in, I'm thinking I may work on the bird. That might be fun. So this one is definitely going to be worked on a lot this month. So it's so exciting. And the last thing I worked on that I only worked on for two days because I was not feeling the full coverage until Saturday was a Gecko Boo. This is a chart by Gecko Rouge, art by Sophia Bliss Kilpatrick. And I'm stitching this on 25 count. Easy grid. And I got over 700 stitches done. And it looks a little bit different. I've decided to try, ooh, I did not finish that stitch last night. I decided to try a true diagonal instead of the 10 by 10 uh, jagged diagonal to see which one I like better. Now I recorded this earlier <coughs> and I messed it up, but I will try my darndest to explain how I do a full coverage. I do a full coverage with, obviously, I park. I park in the 10 by 10 grid. And in that 10 by 10 grid, I start from the bottom. Looking at my park threads, I work in the bottom and go up with all the park threads. So once I get this whole section done, all the park threads are done and moved so that when I go to put new stitches in, they're not in the way. Because I don't want them to be in the way because to me, it's hard to do it. I at one time would take it from the top 
and go all the way through but I was always having to move the parked threads so I didn't like to do what's that called um <clears throat> cross country I didn't like cross cross country because it's always th the threads were always in the way so that's why I did the 10 by 10 and that's why I went from the bottom up I did try from the top down in the 10 by 10 grid but there was still that problem of threads being in the way I tried the way other people do this diagonal it is a 10 row diagonal <clears throat> so in that row there's 10 stitches and I've seen people that work one stitch at a time so if there is one stitch here like this one stitch here is only one done one time in that row they'll stitch it and then they'll move it even if it's just down to the next row underneath they'll move it take the needle off and do the second stitch so they'll go across and do that moving the thread to the to the area even if it is in just the next row I tried that I didn't like it it was too many times of taking the needle off the thread and re re-threading it constantly sorry sorry about that hubs came home unexpectedly with some uh, fishing poles that he got from his brother that are from his grandparent and his great-grandparent so it's kind of cool we'll have to figure out where we can put those so that they stay nice and safe so back to stitching okay so now when i am back to this so now when i am doing these the 10 10 by 10 i still keep it in the 10 by 10 block so as you see i'll move it down here i would start at the bottom of this 10 those 10 by 10 block to make the diagonal and i fill in with the bottom color all the way to the top and then I choose which symbol I want to do next. I try to use the symbol that's got the most is the last color I use. So that way, all I'm doing is filling in that area with the color that's most used. So if I don't have the color, I obviously start a new color, fill in the symbol in that 10 by 10 area, and then go down. So that is what I'm doing. I'm going to try this diagonal for a while. I'm going to keep it only, I'm thinking a one page diagonal on the bottom. So I, I thought about going down to two and I may see how far it is to see. I have to use a magnifier. There's my magnifier. I had it back here. Oh, well, I have a magnifier that clips on here. And if I can move the magnifier down enough to where I can do a two page without having to move the cute this the uh, frame then I'll do that if I can't then I'll just go ahead and do the one page across diagonal but I will keep like feathered down at the beginning of the page so this page two when it gets down here I'll feather that page down one 10 by 10 block so it's staggered a little bit but we'll see um, it all depends on what happens next year because yeah I'm going to be starting that other one soon so that is boo and I worked on it for two days and got over 700 stitches so I'm really happy with that that was all <clears throat> that I worked on last week so I did a lot of stitching on a lot of different things and blew my rotation away because I just can't get into Kringles. I've tried. I tried putting it on the frame. I tried working on it. I just can't get into it. So Kringles may be going on the wayside for a little bit. It may not come out until December, which is fine. Um, I do enjoy Santa of the Forest, but I don't think I want to work on Santa of the Forest every week. So we'll, we'll see how that all works out. And working at night on Boo, that all depends on how I'm feeling. If I don't feel like working on Boo, I'll just pick something else to work on. So that's where that's at. Purchases. 
I did get a shipment in and remember the adage what I said about I'm not buying any more patterns because I have enough well if I had seen pirate before I saw the other uh, snowman from this collection the hollow witch the witch I would have picked up pirate I absolutely love it look at him he is awesome so this is by cottage garden samplings and it is their snowman collection number nine he is totally awesome I absolutely love him I think he is so different and so much fun it does call for one over dyed so I went ahead and picked it up because I didn't have it in my stash and it is from Classic Color Works Wild Berries. And this is the fabric I chose. And this is 36 count. This is 36 count vintage country mocha Edinburgh. So this is probably a witch old. And um, <clears throat> yeah, so that's the color I picked out for him. And I, and it, I think it was one of the ones listed as on one, two, three stitch site for this pattern. And what do they call for? They call for chocolate milk. But I, I think it'll look good. Let's get that glare out of there. So I think it'll look really good. I'm really happy with it. So <clears throat> this one will be started. I was thinking about the, um, I need to find out what the pirate day is. I might stay, start that on the pirate day. That would be fun. I could have a stitch along for the pirate day. Speaking of stitch alongs, I hope that you will join me for starting a Hade in January. I am starting the Magic Study Rainbow. Um, it's across the room where I'd go get it. Um, and that is a big Hade. That one is 400,000 stitches, so that one's going to be a while. But I'm going to be starting it on my birthday, which is January 3rd. So, yeah. I'm looking around. <clears throat> I really don't have anything else to talk to you guys about. Um, my plans are being just whatever is calling to me. And if the pirate calls to me, I may even start the pirate early. I mean, I am at that point where I just having a hard time finding something I want to work on. I don't want to work on a Mirabilia. I don't want to work on Halloween. Even though this is, <clears throat> Boo is kind of Halloween-ish, but I don't, you know, that one is fine. I can work on that one, but I don't want to bring more Halloween back out again. I don't want to finish all my Halloween and not have any Halloween for the later years. <clears throat> I know I'm weird. I think of those things. But anyway, <clears throat> looking around, I really don't have anything else to talk to you guys about. So I hope that you're all staying safe, healthy, and happy. And hope that whatever you craft, you craft it to your heart's content. And I will see you next week. Bye, guys.